Hey guys and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today we're going to do another little Jay Jabbers and this is just a little mini series where we talk about things that are on my mind and it's really just because I need some like lazy content and I just want to talk and that, you hear that? That's what I deal with all day and it's really hard <laughs> to find time to actually film stuff in the daytime. For this stage of life that I'm in, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> But anyways, today we're going to talk about why I love flats and prefolds over inserts, specifically inserts. I talk a lot about flats and prefolds. If you watch any of my speedfold videos, you know I use tons of flats and prefolds. I talk about them a lot in my videos. I do own inserts, I just don't use a lot of them. I actually put up a lot of inserts during the flats and hand washing challenge back in 2018, I think. I just put a bunch of stuff away for that challenge and I never took it back out. And I had tons of inserts that I totally forgot about, but I have mainly been using flats with some prefolds as well. I used to all be a prefold girl, never would touch flats, and now I'm all about the flats. Flats, 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 flats. None of this information I'm telling you is new information. I'm sure you can find all of the information in this video in like a million other videos. It's regurgitated information, but this specific subject, liking flats and prefolds over inserts, is something that I just want to talk about. Like when people ask me what inserts are best, I don't usually suggest inserts. I usually suggest flats and prefolds. And today I'm just going to tell you why. I think one of the first things that comes up, especially when we're talking about flats, is that they wash and dry so much easier. If you have to hand wash or if you have to air dry, flats are where it's at. I know flats are intimidating because I've been intimidated by them for years and now I love them. I just fold it into a rectangle. A flat is just a single layer of fabric. So it could be a t-shirt, which I've done a video on t-shirt cloth diapers. It could be a little receiving blanket. Get flower sack towels, which are really cheap from the kitchen section. But I just fold this crap up into a rectangle and voila, I have a diaper insert. Prefolds do take a little longer to dry than flats do, but I still think they wash and dry a lot easier than something like an all-in-one diaper. So here is a Smart Bottoms all-in-one diaper that I have. Everything is sewn in, that's what an all-in-one is, everything is already sewn into the diaper and so it just, it takes so much longer for this to dry because of the pee well that's on it. Now pee well will slow down the dry time a little bit PUL is breathable, it is waterproof, waterproof and breathable, doesn't seem like that would go in the same sentence, but it does. Another thing that I really, really, really love about flats and prefolds is one of my favorite reasons why I love them, is that they work for multiple diapering systems. So I mainly use pocket diapers, you'll see that a lot on my channel, I love pocket diapers. There's a lot of reasons why I love them, I also really hate pocket diapers, but I kind of move throughout the diapering systems depending on the age of my baby and depending on how lazy I am. Flats and prefolds also work with covers as well. This is actually um, an all-in-two system, but I'm not a huge fan of inserts. <laughs> you can get snap and inserts that go with this, and I'm not a huge fan of inserts. I'm just liking flats and prefolds. So I just fold this into a rectangle. And then I lay it inside the cover, and then that's how I use covers. So if you're using something like flats or prefolds or both, you're not going to have to buy separate inserts for these diapering systems for covers or pockets. You can just use the flats and prefolds that you already have. So I really like that. Because most pocket diapers, I know um, this brand, Mama Koala, they do sell pocket diapers with microfiber inserts, and microfiber cannot go against your baby's skin. So if you're going to try to put that microfiber insert in this cover and put it on your baby, that won't work. So for me, I just like that I can use my flats and prefolds with covers or with pocket diapers. One of my favorite uses specifically for prefolds, I occasionally use flats, mainly prefolds, cleaning. I love to clean with these. I clean the kitchen with these all the time. I keep tons of them here in the kitchen for us to uh, clean up spills or messes. I grew up on paper towels. <laughs> I didn't know people actually reused rags. Moving into the cloth diapering world, it's opened me up to reusable 
your bags. Another thing you can use these for are changing pads so you can stick them under your baby or your child while you're changing their diaper so nothing spills out underneath them. Sometimes you get some nasty poops or pee goes flying. So these are nice because these are also absorbent. You can also do that with flat diapers. You can just fold it into a rectangle or a square and put it under your baby. It's great if you're on the go if you don't want to put your baby on a nasty change table or it's great for at home. Like me, I change on the floor, the couch, the bed, anything, really anything. Another way to use specifically flats is you can use it as a blanket. So this would be great to swaddle your baby in depending on how big your baby is. I've also used these as bath towels. After Willow has gotten out of the bath, I just wrapped her in one of these and dried her off. So that's another way to use it. I would say specifically for flats, again, you can make these into a bib and tie them around your baby. All you need to do is grab opposite ends. So not these two ends, but the diagonal end. Grab the diagonal ends. And when you do that, it makes this into a triangle. You tie it around and now it's a bib. There are a few downsides to using flats and prefolds. It's bulky. So, you know, if you're using just one, look how thin this is, one bamboo insert. This is the newborn insert from Lullaby. And let's just say we're using a newborn Geffen hemp insert. Let's just say we're using those two things together. They are so trim, but if you're using a muslin flat from Green Mountain Diapers. This thing is pretty bulky. And then this is a small bamboo prefold from Diaper Junction. That is still pretty bulky. I mean, those are some pretty big fluff butts, especially if you have a small baby. If your baby is bigger, then it probably wouldn't be as bulky, but it's definitely a lot bulkier than this. This is pretty trim. So that is a downside. If you don't like bulk, flats and prefolds are gonna be pretty bulky and that might annoy you. With that said, especially this one, no, this one, because this one has the muslin flat in it. Muslin flats are really thick and they are pretty bulky because of the weave of fabric that it is. You can get things like hemp flats, which I do have hemp flats. I have some Geffen hemp flats. They did shrink really small and a little wonky, but it absorbs a decent amount and it's also very trim. Geffen does have a fleece flat that is a little bigger and that's pretty trim. Those would go really well in these, but that's if your baby needs absorbency. And those cost a lot of money. Those aren't cheap. Those can be like 10 to 15 bucks US dollars a piece. That's a lot of money. And then the other reason why these might not be the best is that these don't have a great resale value because shipping costs are high. These are heavy and it costs a lot to ship these. Shipping prices go up each year and are constantly rising. So these, while these are pretty cheap per insert and they'll last you through multiple children, through multiple years, especially if you take really good care of them, but the resale value kind of sucks. When you sell them, you're just not gonna get your money's worth when you sell them. So what I think whenever I buy flats and prefolds is if I'm gonna buy it, it's going to stay in my stash forever, so I better really want it in my stash. <laughs> a lot of my smaller prefolds, like my newborn prefolds, I use a lot of those as rags nowadays, or napkins. We do use them as napkins for the kids, especially if we're eating something messy like spaghetti. And I do have inserts in my stash, but I mainly use inserts as an extra absorbency to my flats and prefolds. So let's say I'm using this prefold and I need just a little more absorbency. I'm just going to stick this newborn Geffen insert into the wet zone. My girl's mainly wet in the front and in the center. So I add that there just for a boost of absorbency. Otherwise, very rarely do I ever stuff my diapers with just inserts. It's always some type of variation with flats and prefolds. I'm a sucker for hemp flats, bamboo flats, stretchy flats, even though I just pad fold them which I know is a waste for most people. People like the stretchy flats to wrap around their babies, which I do like it for that, but I'm just lazy for that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm in the mood for that, but most times I'm not in the mood for that. 
but even my stretchy flats, which this is not a stretchy flat, but even my stretchy flats, I just, I fold them down like this and stick them in a pocket or a cover. They're just really absorbent and they're so soft and I like soft things. I'm a Taurus. I like soft, cuddly blankets and fuzzy things and, well, stretchy flats aren't fuzzy, but they are soft and they remind me of leggings, buttery soft leggings, and I like buttery soft leggings, and I like buttery soft clothing. If I, my whole wardrobe could be buttery soft clothing, ugh, buttery soft clothing, then I'd love that. I would love that. I used to have some buttery soft dresses, and they had pockets. I love dresses that have pockets. Most of my dresses do have pockets. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling about that shit. But anyways, yeah, that is why I like flats and prefolds, and that's why I like them more than I like inserts. Inserts do serve their purpose in my stash, but just as a booster, just an added boost of absorbency, and really nothing more than that. The fluff butts around here are pretty bulky, but I can't deny my love for flats and prefolds. I just, I love them. I think they're great, and I hope you guys love them too. Don't be scared to try them. I was scared for a long time to try these. I used, in the beginning of my journey, I used microfiber inserts and pocket diapers. Then I used microfiber all-in-ones, and then I got really pissed off at microfiber. And then I started using natural fibers. I started using prefolds, and I fell in love with prefolds. And then a few years later, I started using flats. And now I love flats, and I wish I wouldn't have been so scared to invest in that stuff because I spent a lot of time back and forth with microfiber and a lot of you know how I feel about microfiber. I think microfiber does serve its purpose. Don't get me wrong, it works amazing for some babies. That wasn't for me. <laughs> it wasn't for me, my family, my preferences, or my children. Alright guys, I think that's it. My children have been melting down so many times during this video and I feel like my anxiety is really high because I'm talking like super duper fast. <laughs> Sometimes I can be calm, cool, and collected. Not this video. All right guys, that, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.